He wants to go here, grabbing an early rope of the Magi, and they are jumping on the mid lane again. Toss back onto Loda, but snowballing forward is my nuts to try and turn this one around. Here comes the rotation. He was waiting for the opening on mid. He jumps in. Blake scream as well. Gets up the Queen of Pain ultimate. Finishes off Banks Court. Now turns onto Iceberg. Has the Shadow Strike for this, and it looks like CIS Reject have finally overextended a little bit, though S4 in danger of going down here. Has the bottle charge. Should be okay. Jim back with the Cogs, threatening him if he tries to go, and his Iceberg commits. They get off the shards as well. Uh, not really trapping anyone. Just trying to deny some creep last hits and now Glory's on the move has the mango available if he wants to hook for this S4 blinky back dodges the stun and now looks to commit forward and Loda rotates in beautiful time to pop that in stone gaze isolating to the tiny the aisle both down alliance defend their stacks in force were to able to save the tiny yes they will be worth it relocate comes hot the double boars are waiting bulldog a bit slow to react here starts to run away S4 rotates in but Banks go fairly tanky. Already has the urn up. Inake with the side swiping ultimate. Able to get the job done. They finish off the aisle, but Iceberg's in pursuit. And now stealing the scream of pain. A toss forward onto Bulldog. Jams it in. Iceberg collecting an additional kill. Now they lift back S4. The stolen scream going to work. Oh, Iceberg just late on the avalanche, but still committing. Has the toss available. It's only a level two blink. It's going to be some time here before S4 can get out. But does Iceberg find him at the... Longlash tracks him down, scream, toss up and down, smacked with the club. And down he goes once again, a triple kill for Iceberg. And so relocate top, making their move, but Ake's ready. He's in position with the chain frost. Need to be careful about how they approach this. Well, uh, they will be. No, nope, maybe not. Careful enough. Base score takes an extra unnecessary bounce with the chain frost. That will cost him his life. Though S4 may also pay for this. Plasma field coming in. S4 thrown away. So in the end, it ends up being a beautiful bait. Rut row. They're going to try to engage on this first snowball, comes out, the shards are there, trapping Artez, and then the Cogs even further blocking up the path of the retreat. There's only one, and that way is forward for the rejects, but with Loda here and a DD rune at his disposal, the sigil slowing them down. The, well, they say sec, but the unpause comes. I guess the sec is over. Goritz just going to get roared off the bat, and they, yes, they get the double kill. Good call, buddy. Now the... Next is stolen only level oh, two, and the sigil even falling. Always want to fly might down. Lose the Rubik as well. Uh oh, trying for the TP out. Is any way to cancel this? Not doesn't look like it. Hold on, it's his turn to rotate. He swings on towards mid, but you know, Loda didn't finish off the ancients. He's been very active, as you mentioned, Winter. Now rotating on mid, and Iceberg there to greet him. Where's that toss back? Oh, oh! No! <laughs> rejected. Goritz is denied by his own teammate. <laughs> Wards behind. One of the other wards in the Radiant Jungle got dewarded. As four, he jumps into the avalanche toss, but not the one who got tossed, so he's able to survive it. He has to get, like, BKB as fast as possible. Iceberg jumping in with the dagger again. Uh, the boar saving the day here. Prevents Bulldog from taking the bonus toss damage. And now, on the way out, Iceberg trying to retreat to the north, but he's lost his precious Io. Iceberg's going to go down again. A lot of kills being hemorrhaged here in quick succession. Rotating in Loda, additional, and now they even chase forward. S4 able to finish off, always want to fly. My nuts in front. Bulldog close behind, worms his way into the trees. His smoke will break, he gets the hot off, but this is right when Iceberg blinks in. Quicker to react is Bulldog, who roars immediately. My nuts snowballing onto absolutely nothing. Now Gory poking and engaging, has a blade now picked up. This may cost my nuts heavily. My nuts dropping low, my nuts still go down in the end. <laughs> the plasma field clips him, ends up cutting him off. Now, the avalanche toss combo used on the Loda. Well, actually, just toss the avalanche coming soon. He's out of mana here. He's actually in a lot of trouble. Where's the backup for Loda? They're too busy hunting Artez, who zones the others back. Now, Iceberg committing forward. S4, one auto attack would finish him, but the Mind Nuts turns around to try and save the day. The Blink now up on the Rubik already. It's a snowball steal, and a jump in from Always Wanna Fly, trying to get an additional kill here out of this fight. This will be a dieback on the Tusk, I do believe. Indeed, he did commit a buyback for that one. Moving forward, has the double damage rune. S4 about to get cut out. He breaks it. He dumps the claw off the bat. BKPs as well, so the Hulk does nothing. Goyce just not finding his openings, and now Loda jumps in as well. Arte is going to engage here, but he's caught out in the middle of the river. Ward committed on, and will drop two. Always want to fly now. The next man, and it's going to be three heroes sacrificing their own lives. Possibly a fourth. The clock drops as well, and Iceberg dropped in the pit. He has to play dagger, but it gets canceled. He may die twice here. CIS reject. They get it, Aiden. Just, they get a rush, but was it really worth it? Blake Dagger. And he got to even jump out in time. Who's going to have the quicker reactions? It won't be Iceberg. He is melting to the tusk. And Snowball will finish him. My nuts S4 combine, and suddenly S4 is godlike. 12, uh -huh. 2, and 10.
That what was a train wreck. That was such a reject. Such a risky. Maybe some wards down. We see always want to find wanting to get some deep wards down. Oh, that's four in position here. Does jump back and now always want to fly silence. Caught out a bit. They even relocate Banks for four, but he's already at about half HP. As far jumping in, he sees that squishy, delicious wisp and will quickly eviscerate it. Tiny trying to turn this one around. Clobbering my nuts, but can't finish him off just yet. It's up to the razor. Artez gets the job done. They lost the Beastmaster and the Tusk on the other side of the fight, but that leaves a double damage loader. Man, he's starting to rival S4, but for Loda, it's all about oh. the DD runes. The triple kill from Loda High Ground. No missed chance there. No sorry. Yeah. Gorid's next on the list. That'll be the gem. A full five-man wipe. Again, double wiped. A just blown up in the last fight. And this is this game is getting ugly. Pushing in. Hopefully Clockwork's gonna land a hookshot this time around. Gorid's pops his blade mill. They relocate in, trying to isolate and lock down Bulldog Glimmer Caves and kept alive by the Lich for now. They toss forward, always want to fly, but that's into a terrible location. He'll end up going down Iceberg. Not exactly what he had in mind. Now Bank score deleted by the S4 ultimate and they rush forward, trying to finish off Iceberg before he can retreat. No more stuns available. Uh, at the very least, the tiny lives to tell the tale. It's just gonna back off. And so it's gonna be the AC completed on the Queen of Pain. Hopefully. All right, another hook from Gory. He's heating up, but is the backup for this blade mail deployed as well? They need some detection. Always want to fly. Has the Sentry Ward available, and they will drop Bulldog down. Finally, finish him up. Artez, he's going in even deeper, but he tanks a Walrus Punch. A lot of damage. Oh, a beautiful snowball punch. Able to keep the Razor alive and in fighting condition. Now, S4 blinking, frantically scrambling. A wild avalanche off the mark. S4 hangs on to his massive kill streak, but okay. Well, he may not. Be so lucky. Chain Fox is going down though. This could be bad for the rejects. They're gonna snowball in again. Ake. Chain Fox always on the Honey on the always want to fly. No bounces it seems as my nuts get the retaliation kill. A two for one so far. They're really hustling for these extras. And my nuts surrounded and clubbed will die. Three heroes for one. And the ace. Uh, uh, assault always want to fly. Zaps the hawk, but the snowball's gonna hunt him down. The shards come out, wall mid snowball, and then punched and Iceberg tries to turn this around. They engage directly into the full complement of nukes from Alliance and Tiny can't handle it. He's down. Io's next. It's four dead as the clockwork came in with just collateral damage. Gem dropped as well. Definitely didn't seem like a draft issue. The lanes went okay, but yeah, they're just they're just getting punished in the fights now. It's always one to fight. Silence again. The Orchid has been his downfall this game, and again, S4 deliver 17 2 and 18 they just keep on pressing and hunting the little ball the little ball will fall next on the list probably artez roared up can't even pop the bkb in time and if he tries it won't matter gory's not going anywhere loda just farming heroes right outside the tier four towers iceberg being slowed down bkbs to little avail they've already caved in the racks the alliance potentially looking for more loda stands to fight he's letting artez deal quite a bit of damage here maybe some cleanup kills Loda backing off, there's the toss. Avalanche also available, but the Glimmer Cape doing a bit of work here. Ake taking the lion's share of the club damage. They really do want that gem, but at the same time, they also want the Loda kill. And Loda has overstayed his welcome. He will pop the Aegis once. Can they kill him a second time? That's going to be the question. S4 is back. He's got a BKB. He's got his ultimate available soon. Artez likely to go down here. S4 commits, finishes him off. It was all a bait. It was all a trap. The clock can't get out. They lose two more. No buybacks on anyone. Iceberg. Just watching Alliance for cheap, but the Hawk's gonna scout him out here, and now he's likely to drop too. Iceberg down in a matter of moments, unless always one of five's got something incredible up his sleeve. Bankscore does rotate in, courtesy of the relocate, even popping the mech to train, keeps him alive, but Loda keeps on crushing his way forward, trying desperately to finish off Bankscore, will miss uphill. Might not have gotten the kill anyway now. Iceberg with the counterplay, tossing, but just can't scratch the Medusa. Your armor, no match for the Snake Lady, and down he goes again. Four heroes fall. Loda, he's just not leaving. Neither is S4. 22 and 20 in a 40 minute game. He's been involved in 40 kills. A sensational showing from the captain of Alliance here. And I think the rejects, they've had enough, Winter. Bling Dagger and CIS rejects were in control of the situation. But then the Dusa came into team fights and started to claw back her way into.